Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to learn about flow control mechanism in internet. So what is flow control? Let's think there is a sender, there is a receiver, okay? So if the sender is sending data at a very high rate such that the receiver cannot handle that, then there must be some mechanism by which receiver can tell that okay please wait i must assimilate the data you have given i must process it then only i can follow okay so one of the most simple mechanism for flow control is stop and wait where sender sends some data then the receiver processes it, receives it, processes it and sends an acknowledgement that okay you can send more data okay this is the mechanism which we will see here so let's try to see so stop and wait protocol what it is so there is a sender there is a receiver and this is the time axis where time is increasing so there are I send one frame then I need to wait for acknowledgement that okay it has been received properly by the receiver then only I can send new frame okay so frame 0 I send so what happens sender keeps a copy of the last frame so let's try to first see what is happening here. So there is a sender. So he has a variable S, okay, which is a binary variable which can have value 0, 1. Okay, so stop and wait. I'm just sending a frame waiting for acknowledgement. So I give the sender frame number 0 and 1. I send frame 0. Then what does receiver has a variable R, which is equal to the frame number that I'm expecting to receive. So sender sends frame 0, receiver is having R is equal to 0. So it is expecting to receive frame 0. It receives and makes R is equal to 1. Okay. And sends an ACK with 1. ACK 1 here means the sequence number of ACK means that this is the new frame number that I will expect next time. So S now has to send frame number one so it becomes s becomes now one because it has to send frame one and then here what happens it receives frame one then r becomes zero because this is the sequence number of the next frame which the receiver wants to receive so it sends ac zero which means sequence number of the next frame should be zero and it proceeds like this so what happens for identification both data frames and acknowledgement frames are numbered okay alternately so there is just frame 0 and frame 1 so when I send ACK so you just have to number with two numbers sender has control variable s so as we said s is a variable which can have value 0 or 1 and it is equal to if when I send frame 1 s is 1 when I'm sending frame 0 s is 0 and receiver whatever the value it has it is equal to the next frame that it wants to receive sender when it is sending it also starts a timer that we will see so that is because let's see if I send a frame okay if I send something here and let's say there was some packet error so receiver does not receive and acknowledgement did not come so in both the cases I have to retransmit okay that's why we have a timeout mechanism here receiver sends only positive act that okay it has received it never sends a negative act act number always defines the next expected frame so when you have act one it means I expect frame one next time when I have act zero I expect frame zero next time so let's see here stop and wait ARQ automatic repeat request so what happens if an ACK is lost so I send frame 0 okay and now what happens he sends 
ACK1. Okay, so receiver sends ACK1. Then I send frame 1. Now what happens? Packet is lost. So what happens when I sent the frame? I started a timer. Okay, so it takes on and after let's say two seconds i did not receive an acknowledgement because the frame never frame one never reached the receiver so he never sent any acknowledgement so i have a timeout and then what happens after timeout i again transmit the same frame frame one now the receiver receives frame one he sends act zero okay so let's try to see when a receiver has receives a damaged frame it discards it okay so when it receives a damaged frame there is some error it discards and value of r still remains the same and it never sends a knack that okay not received a proper data frame so then after timeout the sender again sent retransmits and okay so because and for that if the sender keeps the copy of the sent frame till it receives an acknowledgement okay and stop and wait protocol so previously it was lost ACK okay so the message itself was lost okay I sent a frame frame one itself did not reach receiver but otherwise also you cannot get an acknowledgement if the receiver even though it received one frame but it never the reply or acknowledgement did not reach the sender so what will happen so sender has s is equal to zero it sends frame zero receiver receives it and makes act one which means it's expecting now frame one frame one was sent it was received by the receiver okay but the acknowledgement for frame zero did not reach so there will be a timeout after some time for frame one and this frame will be sent again but here what happens it has made r is equal to zero which means frame one has already been received and i am expecting frame zero so but because act zero did not reach it so what will happen it retransmits after timeout frame one but it says expecting frame zero and so it discards frame one because it already has got that frame so if the sender receives a damaged act it discards it okay if it is damaged act lost act when the timer of the sender expires then it retransmits the frame receiver because it has already received that frame because the acknowledgement was lost so it discards the frame and waits for the and sent but it sends act zero so my question is why is act zero important here i am discarding the receiver is discarding frame one because it had already got frame one but it has to send this act why because if he does not send there will be again a timer had started here it will time out and frame one will keep on repeating so it's necessary even though i'm discarding frame one i need to send act zero which will tell that okay I have received frame one send frame zero uh, the next frame so this is the idea now let's last thing is case is that delayed acknowledgement okay what happens is I sent a frame act was frame zero was sent act one was sent which means okay I have received frame zero I want frame one now but somehow it was delayed okay and it happened so that time out was like it was less than the delay okay when the packet was acknowledgement was received later than the time out happened so time out happened and it sends another frame same copy of frame zero here again but when acknowledgement one was sent from the receiver it expects now frame one so when it receives frame zero again it discards it and again sends act one so now what happens is that it sent frame one here frame one was lost but again what happens and act one here is discarded okay let's try to see so what is happening so this is a bit complicated case so frame zero was sent again 
it was already received so this is discarded but act one is sent so that it says that okay please send frame one but already frame one was sent here but it was not received it was dropped here so what happened but a timer started and this act one was discarded because frame one has already been sent but because for frame one act zero was not received because this frame one was dropped so what happens timeout happened it sent the frame one again frame one was received and it sent act zero so like this it happens and now let's try to see the act can be delayed at the receiver due to some problem okay it received after the time of a frame zero expired so as we see the timer expired here okay and then what happens is timer expires before receiving an act one so it sent the frame again sender so whatever is there so what we saw so it's important that even if acknowledgement is delayed then retransmission can happen last thing is about piggybacking so let's see what is piggybacking till now we were talking about that okay only one a is the sender b is the receiver but if let's say most of the time let's say it's a bi-directional communication so what happens is a sends so both of them are receiver and sender as well okay so s a sends so it's frame zero and it also tells that okay i have received frame one from b so it sends act zero so that it wants frame zero from b so b sends frame zero and it also sends act one saying that okay i have received your frame zero i now want frame one so a now sends because it received act one it resends now frame one and what happened it also received a frame zero so it has to send acknowledgement for this packet of frame zero it sends act one okay so like this is called piggybacking so now i hope you understood what is stop stop and wait protocol okay it's very good because now b will send data okay whenever only b will receive data only when it is ready to receive it okay so i will send if i will i'm overwhelmed by the data i will first process the data and then only i will send a saying that okay i'm ready for the next frame so so far so good but is there any problem with stop and wait so in stop and wait at any point in time there is only one frame that is sent and waiting to be acknowledgement that's there okay so that's why it gives us a full control on that receiver is never overwhelmed and the sender is not sending at very high speed but if you think about the throughput the medium is not always busy this is not good use of transmission medium because i've sent the data and now it is just waiting and the medium is not getting utilized to improve the efficiency multiple frames sh should be in transition while waiting for act so it's kind of pipelining so i'm sending data continuously and you send act for whatever you have received so for increasing the efficiency we have two protocols go back and and selective repeat which we'll see in the next lecture thanks a lot